Once a week, every Sunday, I'll be sending out a challenge to my email list and patrons to test you and your knowledge. These tasks should take no more than an hour of your time and is a good way to practice without just copying and pasting. If you want to join these challenges, sign up for my email listing, which is free, or join my Patreon. Link is down below. So you've created a player that can move around. Uh, we can jump around, right? And it's cool, but the camera does not look nice. It doesn't really smooth out with the player. Now that's okay. In this video, we will be going over some of the settings to make this feel nicer. We'll also be looking at what a limit is and just a few of the properties inside the camera. So inside of a camera 2D, what you need to do, of course, is, well, first in your player, add a camera 2D. So make sure you add one by creating a new node and just adding a camera. Now in said camera, we have a lot of settings that can allow us to make this a little smoother. One of the first things we can do is in the limit right here, let me just kind of uncheck all these. In the limit, we can set the limit of the camera. So what does limit mean? Well, if I set the limit to the left and I'll do the top, that's usually what I do. This will make sure my camera, in fact, if I actually try to take my player and drag him to the left, you will see that the camera no longer gets dragged above or to the left of these uh, nodes. Now, this is because it's at zero and this is at zero. So now when I hit play, you will see that my camera does not go to the left all the way anymore. It doesn't go off the screen. So that's something that can kind of give you boundaries inside of the world. Now, what else? Well, we also have the smooth box checked off. Now, if we have that checked off, you would see a more kind of stagnant camera. It doesn't look smooth or it's not very smooth itself. So we will turn on the smooth. In the position smoothing, we will also turn that on. That will also turn on the smoothing for the positioning. Now, another thing that I like to do is in the drag. Now, you might not see this little outline, and that's because in the editor, you can go to drag, uh, draw, drag, margin, and this will draw that little box for you. And what is this? Of course, you can also draw the limits, uh, but it's kind of hard to see regardless. Of course, you can just move it and you'll see the limit. But I'm going to turn that off. Now, for the drag itself, if I put these on, essentially what it will do is make sure that my player will stay within the, these confines of the camera uh, limit, essentially. So it's kind of like an extra limit for a camera. Now, the cool part about this is, of course, you can change it. But if I hit play, you'll kind of see that my camera doesn't move unless I kind of leave that little area. Now, obviously we can't see it, but we do know that it's kind of a small box right there. And if we leave that kind of area, you'll see that the camera starts to get dragged along. And that's kind of a nice thing that we can do. And you can of course increase it or decrease it. It goes from uh, zero to one. I believe one is pretty much the entire thing. You probably don't want one just because if you do that, then the camera won't move, I believe. So if we test that, it it wouldn't really move properly, right? So now I can go all the way here and it's, I, I don't want that probably, right? So that's kind of weird. So of course one might be too much, but you know, play with the values, see what you like, see what is good. Um, the default of course is 0 0.2. You may want something bigger. You may want something smaller. It's really up to you. Now, the last thing that uh, some people don't actually really play around with a lot is the zoom. Now zoom of course is a thing that exists. So play with it, use it. Um, you know, zoom in and out. You can, of course, create a way to zoom in and out inside the game using your mouse. Uh, that's another thing I could recommend you look into. Um, it's not too difficult. You would just adjust the zoom property or the zoom pro like value of itself whenever you zoom in or out, which is pretty easy to do. You just need a GUI uh, input function for that, right? So, all right, that is it for this video and this lecture. I'll see you all in probably next week.